Minister Nongthomba Mbirin assures of making Manipur one of the cleanest states in the country, government to prioritize on protecting rare species like Sangai and Shirui Lili. Education Minister T. H. Radhe Sham asserts that time management and self-discipline are the key to success. And Arjuna Awardi Oinam Bembem accorded a warm welcome upon her arrival at Imphal today. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News and I'm Premi Thangjim bringing you the top stories. Chief Minister Nong Thombambirin has stated that the government will not only try to make Manipur, one of the cleanest states in the country, but also the most disciplined state. He called for exploring scientific means to conserve the precious biodiversity wealth of the state, including rare Shirui Lili and Sangai. He was speaking at the inaugural session of the seventh review and monitoring come mentoring meeting of Department of Biotechnology, DBT, sponsored biotech hubs in Northeast India at Hotel Imphal today. The chief minister said we need to learn live in harmony with nature. While utilizing biotechnology, we should not forget how to conserve our precious biodiversity wealth and traditional practices and indigenous wisdom. Let's listen to the soulful cries of the sick Loktak Lake, pangs of precarious Sangai and anguished whispers of Shirui Lili. The Chief Minister further said that in its imperative to work in concert to harness the natural resources of Manipur and the rich biodiversity of the Northeast, its flora, fauna, rare and endemic medicinal plants, aromatic and ornamental plants, and microbial resources. Biren also expressed hope that the biotechnologist present at the function would extend help to the state government towards harnessing biotechnology for the overall growth and development of the state and the region and thereby contributing to Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi's vision of building a new India by 2022. Stating that Manipur is famous for its pineapple, kachai lemon, orange, a rare orchids, endemic medicinal plants and rare animals and wildlife, the chief minister said that the state government has been celebrating different festivals to promote these bioresources. The two-day meeting was organized by Advanced Level State Biotech Hub, Department of Biochemistry, Manipur University, under the sponsorship of Department of Biotechnology, Government of India. On the other hand, the Chief Minister said Baba Ramdev of Patanjali Company has expressed a desire to establish an Ayurvedic college in the state. Baba Ramdev had already expressed his desire for setting up a pineapple food processing centre. The Chief Minister asserted that construction will begin for the food processing centre once an appropriate site has been identified. Like Shiroi Lili and the Sangai, keeping and protecting officers, leaders, things found here in Manipur should be the priority of the government. I am going to make not only cleanliest state in India, I am going to make the most disciplined peoples in India. I am the most disciplined police organization. I am going to make it. Within these uh, last few months, the same thing you can have seen, cleanliness. Not only the city, not only the street, cleanliness from the heart also we need. So just we are taking up the anti-corruption moment and uh, disciplines among the police. They never visit Manipur and they will sit there and they will talk whatever they like. A bambula khatega bole a nuclear bomb khatega. Strongly condemn it. Please do visit first and see the dominity, see the beauty. Education Minister Radhe Sham has asserted that one can be successful only when time is valued and respected. The minister was speaking at the 45th Annual Prize Distribution Function of Board of Secondary Education Manipur, BOSIM, at the Auditorium of Manipur State Film Development Society today. Speaking further, he said development as per the motto, 
Sabka Saad, Sabka Vikas means a collective effort towards inclusive growth to work for the improvement of the most deprived and downtrodden section of the society. He also appealed to teachers that imparting the best education in the school should begin with the weakest student, nurturing the weakness of the student to improve and make the best out of that student. He said that the world is moving in a fast pace and the future lies in the hands of young minds. Through discoveries and inventions, these young people of today will surely find an answer to the issues faced by the humanity. Any developmental step should deal with issues related to social, political, economical and technological status of the state. Retired principal of Manipur College, Elsa Dananda, who is also a senior member of BOSIM, said parents should not impose their wants or choices regarding career on their children. Secretary of BOSIM, Dr. Chingambam Starad, members of BOSIM, teachers, students and parents attended the function. Why not? IT the higher rangang sing like lesu rangang mayam layi Manipur da marketing tau no web website of Manipur ya mahang tuo kanda Japan da China da Korea da America da pama ma port yaro magadi akui wana sa port kang de pi kang de kolong kang de anything akui port si but website da hapkal lagam madu pama port yaro matara gadi madu i portu asom na layi na contact tau no demand la agadi then akui economy si phagal apu yaem si gumba khal laga akui economy da. A quay society that so evoked the river Mamse. See problem Mamse. How to look for solutions, how to find solutions. I would do Madu Tiba targeting a sea prize from Iba Mamse, one toxic artist. So it's within Lagan in a country. A powerful IED exploded at MSDGR Velocity KSK oil pump in Napit Pali under Lamlai Police Station. The incident occurred around 8.15 last night. No human casualties were reported in the blast. The diesel machine of the pump was damaged by the splinters from the blast. According to the state bomb squad team, the bomb may have been an RC IED without splinters. A case has been registered at Lamlai Police Station. The petrol pump belongs to Atoy Bum Deben of Atoibam Rabango, a resident of Lamlai Mayai Lekai. A note was found on the spot stating that it was a second warning and that further actions will be taken if the demands are not met. A team of IOC conducted a spot verification after the blast. Meanwhile, residents of Napet Police stage a sit-in against the blast. Participants at a sit-in said it is very unfortunate to carry out such blasts at a petrol pump, which is an essential part of the area. They appealed the responsible persons behind the blast to not carry out such acts in the future. They also appealed to resolve all pending issues via a dialogue. It may be recalled that Three lethod bombs were placed at the residence of Achoibam Deben in April this year, making monetary demands. Meanwhile, consumer affairs for the dis Public Distribution Minister Karam Shyam today strongly condemned the attack on oil palms in the state. The minister said the state government condemns the bomb blast in strongest possible terms. He said violence has no place in our society. Old Manipur, Huyen Lalong and Traditional Culture will organize the 7th Chingtam Traditional Culture Festival 2017 on September 4th at 10 a.m. in Rup Mahal Theatre. Time for a small commercial break. We'll be back in a short while. Keep watching and pack news. Welcome back to the break and you're watching Primetime English News. Council of Higher Secondary Education Manipur in a press release states that the last date of issue and submission of prescribed application form for obtaining the eligibility certificate for admission in Class 11 for academic session 2017-18 in the institutions under the council has been extended up on to 8 of September 2017. Rates of fee and fine will remain unchanged. The first step to resolve the issues between villages of Namthanjang Rongmai village under Kangpopi district has been taken. There have been tensions among the villages since last year. Leading the peace talks, Vice Chairperson of Manipur State Disaster Management Authority, MSDMA, 
at the Palme is that a data solution will be brought within 10th of next month. It may be recalled that there were scuffles among the villages with regard to the former secretary of Namtajang Rongmai Village Authority, Makodinang Riamai. Due to untoward incident, eight persons, including police personnel, were injured and many houses were vandalized. Tensions were on since early last year. A team led by Adem Palme spoke with the villagers today to bring about a solution. After listening to both the sides, he asserted that steps will be taken to bring out a solution within the 10th of next month. He further said developmental works will be taken up for the village once there is a solution to the current issue. Adem Palme also said the village, which is a part of National Highway 37 in Falziri Road, is an accident-prone area. Steps will be taken up to resolve these issues as well. Honorable Chief Minister, na examine tawo hai we maram na examine tawo ekhoi ngasi la e ekhoi theng na jare kari problem dagi thok puno karai dagi thok puni ibono hai vesi chak chak na ekhoi hausikti glue do ekhoi phange aduna bot sai si hausikti nungsi na bap purak niya ki lambi development lak niya ki damak ta makhoi khong thang ngasi dagi na footstep lo bahau re isha yau raga masi ki khun ki awa bap grievance si tawo gani aduga ekhoi ki Honorable Chief Minister da wapham si thangat jare har ga khun si ki kram hai na develop tawo bahi agani thol ibo wapham si kamai tawo loisin bahi agani hai vesi ya ham na nungsi chana na hing min na bap ya niya ki damak ta ekhoi preparation tawo re ngasi dagi na hai na ai tham niye. Secretary of Namtajing Rongmai Village Authority, Agong Riamai, said a scuffle broke out on 15 February last year. Villagers were upset when the then Secretary of Village Authority, Makodina Riamai, produced a account statement of 2015. When the villagers demanded clarifications on the statement, Makodinang's son, Tungalum, fired bullets. Later on June 17, a scuffle broke out between the villages and family members of Makodinang in which eight persons were injured. An agreement was reached today between both the parties to resolve the issue within 10th of September. DC of Senapati District, Athe Muiva and Saitu SDO, Ning Jam Johnson were also present on the occasion. 2016 Villages of Nungtang Tampak and Saikur constituency under Churchanpur district celebrated on becoming 100% computer literate under the initiative of Mangal Rural at Nungtang Tampak Baptist Church today. Speaking on the occasion, Saikot MLA and MPCC President T.N. Haukip expressed a desire for the BJP led state government to recognize the initiative undertaken by the social enterprise as a part of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's Digital India campaign. He also assured to extend a Assistance to Mangal Rural for any of their future projects. Tian Haukib also assured the villagers of providing necessary equipments for setting up a computer center. Village Chief of Nungtang Tampak L. Romeo Kom, MDC Turachanpur Tonsei, ADC member Kai Pao, and village chiefs of other villages under Cycle Constituency were present at the event. Imphal East Police Juvenile Unit inquired into the incident of violence between girls which went viral on social media. On inquiry, it was established that the incident occurred at Lamding. 17 minor girls were involved. Six boys who were encouraging the fight have also been identified. After due counselling by the members of District Child Protection Unit, they have now been handed over to their respective parents. Deputy Commissioner of Bishnupur District Bobby Wycombe inspected a three-day mega event science exhibition held under the theme Science and Innovation today on its second day today. The exhibition is being held at Mother's Pride Academy, Bishnupur. Bobby Wycombe spoke on how to be a complete person. He also spoke on merits and demerits of mobile phones to the students. Professor S.H. Dorendrajit, principal of Mother's Pride Academy, K.H. Basanta, and founder of Ideal Academy Kumbi, K.H. Nimaitan, were among those present on the occasion.
District Legal Services Authority Imphal East in collaboration with Kaiko Muslim Women's Society organized a one-day legal awareness program at Kaiko Mayailaikai Community Hall today. Associate Professor of GP Women's College Abdul Hakim Shah advocates El Chandra Kumar and Jenta Kumar, Angomcha Araba and many people from the area took part in the awareness program. The advocate spoke on Consumer Protection Act 1986, Consumer Right, Food Adulteration, Mob Justice and Crime Against Women at the program. A team of Mori police under the supervision of Technopol District SP arrested a KYKL Kader at Imphal, Mori Van Parking in Mori today. He has been identified as a 33-year-old Chungkam Raju, also known as Sanahal, son of Chungkam Singhajit from Kakwa Sairom Lairag. Preliminary investigations revealed that he joined KYKL in 2012 as the 32nd batch of the organization and underwent training at Eastern Nagalin in 2013. He is under the command of Sangha a self-styled lieutenant of KYKL. Mori police has registered a case against him. A joint team of Imphal East Police and five JNK rifles apprehended three carters of UNLF in a search operation conducted in and around Imphal area yesterday. The apprehended UNLF carters have been identified as Salam Dinachandra Mitai, alias Poire Ton, 39, son of late S. Naran Babu Mitai of Patsoi Kiam Mayai Lekai. Mutum Naubi Singh, alias Mahindra, 40, son of late M. Kalachan Singh of Nomai Bung. Pung Makhung and Muhammad Yunus Khan, 30, son of Muhammad Chauba Khan of Idril Bung, Kairao Makting Makalekai, and AK 56, one Marty Gypsy, one forged gun license extortion notes, and Alto car, and three mobile phones were recovered from them. Meanwhile, a person was also apprehended along with a Swift Desire car, which was reported lost from Ayangpali Road, Porumpat, last night around 8. The person has been identified as Haikru Jam Bijando, 37 son of H. Manglem of Nungbra Mayailekai. A case has been registered. It may be mentioned that the joint team has been conducting search operations since yesterday. Our Imphal East District Police uh, Commandos led by DSP Robinson Hamnam have searched and found one stolen vehicle that is one Swift Desire VDI white in color bearing number MN07D2493 which was found to be involved in the particular case is recovered. From whom we have recovered the person's detail and the vehicle information were passed on to SP Churachandpur and the IO of the case. The IO of the case has arrived now to take the vehicle. We have we will be handing over all the details from where from whom we have recovered for taking further necessary action from that FIR. United Pioneers Club Bishum Tong Oinam Laikai felicitated Arjuna Awardee Oinam Bambam Debi today. Speaking at the function, Halid Iraima Sanglin, a youth affairs and sports minister, Lid Pao Haukip said it is a proud moment for the state that Oinam Bambam and boxer Debedro Lashram has been conferred the highest award in the field of sports. He said the government of India initiated the construction of the first sports university in India in Manipur, recognizing the contribution of players of the state in games. And sports. Saying that the sports university will boost the players of the state, he is sure to construct a field in the locality of Bembem. It may be mentioned that footballer Oinam Bembem and boxer Debendro Lashram were conferred the highest sports award, Arjuna Award. Sports keep our house near Aduna Bo, a Koyi Modi Zin, Honorable Prime Minister in the Sports University, Emma, the Viratana, a Koyi Sana, Roy Sin, Manipuri. In every discipline, whether in boxing or in football, athletes, Mayam, Masidi Ikai Kumna, Bakutpani, Haidana, Bharat Sarkana, Masidi Sports University, Haiba. Tongba Lumba University, Sports Kapi Oiba University, in Katpasi Barat, the Ahan Badina, San Roisin, Kurima, a Hagata Moini credit to Masidi University, Yapoi San Roisin, the credit city. 
Earlier in the day, Oinam Bimbim was given a warm welcome when she arrived at Imphal Airport today. Her family members, friends and volunteers of United Pioneer Club, Bishum Thong, accorded a grand wall welcome to Bambam upon her arrival to the airport. Footballer Oinam Bambam and boxer Lysham Devendra from Manipur were part of the 17 Arjuna awardees of the country this year. President Ramnath Kovin presented the awards at Rashtrapati Bhavan yesterday on the occasion of National Sports Day. Oinam Bambam is the second woman footballer to win the Arjuna award twice. 37 year Bambam was born in Pishum Thong, Oinam Lekai. Daughter of late Oinam Nageshwar and Oinam Ongbi Ru Bam Bam is the fifth child of seven siblings. Bam Bam led the Indian women's football team in the Guangzhou Asian Games 2014. She was also part of the gold medal winning Indian team at the South Asian Games held at Shillong and Guwahati in early 2016. Bam Bam has been awarded the Arjuna Award in recognition to her success as a sportsperson, her hard work and dedication. Football and Upan, the Yana and Bai Panga, Bashan, my Anna Harabi was there. Mashida Yan and Wabay. They are in a Pama Tam, the Zakun Traum, the Matunga Pangu, Makoi, the Yam, the Nanga Pangu, his last lay, and to the most most Panga, the American Hunter View. Tamay Ban Kang could enter the finals of the second Sri Sri Gopal Deep League Come Knockout Kang tournament. In the first semi final match of the tournament for age group between 55 and 60, Tamay Ban Kang could beat Deka Kang Kud Bishum. 13 12 to book a berth in the final. Six Kankuts are competing in the tournament organized by Shri Shri Gopal Dev Kankut. Gopal Dev Kankut team B school will play IWKK Uchekon in the second semi final match tomorrow. Northeast Zone Sub Junior Boys NFC football tournament kicked off at Kuman Lump Park Artificial Turf Ground today. In the first MR in the first match of the tournament, Mizoram Tres Arunachal Pradesh 4-1. Mizoram's Lai Nung Zira needed three goals in 13, 36, and 44 minutes of the match, while Laring Liana Mate needed one goal in the 33rd minute. The lone goal of the Arunachal Pradesh was needed by Kojam Beung in the 35th minute of the match. The tournament is hosted by All Manipur Football Association under the aegis of All India Football Federation. YAS and IFCD Minister Late Bao Haukip and Amfa President S. Anatomba and many others were present at the inaugural day of the tournament. Tripura and Meghalaya will face each other in the second match of the football tournament at 2.45 in the afternoon tomorrow. Before we end, a quick look at the headlines once again. Chief Minister Nong Bambiru in the shows of making Manipur one of the cleanest states in the country Government to prioritize on protecting rare species like Sangai and Chiroi Lili. Education Minister Tej Radishyam asserts that time management and self-discipline are the key to success. And Arjuna Wadi Oinam Bembe accorded a warm welcome upon her arrival at Impa today.